see, so. While the fudge is cooling, we've got to clean up all this mess. Oh, let's leave it here. It's not much. No, Cecil. The cook will have a fit. Oh, let her. I've never seen a good fit. Goodness, but you're lazy. Here, help me. Clean this pan that we made the fudge in. Oh, it's clean enough. I licked it clean. I'll bet if you had to wash your own dishes, you'd use paper ones. Why not? What do you want me to do? Here, wash this spoon first. There's some candy on it. Well, put it in the sink. I'll put it in my mouth first. Oh, goodness. Mm. I always hate this part about candy making. I don't see why you don't just dunk them here in the sink in this water and let your cook do them tonight. Oh, she gets mad, and Uncle Thomas doesn't like it. Well, let's get at it then. <laughs> well, as long as you ask to do this, here, hold up your arm. Hey, I don't want an apron. Say, you do this and I'll dry them. <laughs> no, you wash them. There's only a few things. All right, I'm caught. All right, now, not so tight. i got to breathe. <laughs> there, now. Here, you have to use this dishcloth. Oh, no, I don't. I've got a system. No wonder you never can get anything done. You go at it backwards. <laughs> All right, what are you going to do then? Well, let's see. Got a knife I can scrape this with? Oh, it's not good to scrape that kind of a pan. Well, how do you expect to get the candy off? Soak it for a little while. Ah, oh, rats, why waste that time? Got some Dutch cleanser or sand? Goodness, Cecil, you don't use sand. That shows how much you know. Didn't you ever go camping? Yes, but we didn't take any sand. Well, doesn't want to come off right now. I'll, I guess I'll clean the spoon first. Well, <laughs> let's have it. Does it take you that long? Now, don't rush me. I'm waiting to dry it, Cecil. Let's have it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not quite clean. Oh, Cecil, don't be such a slowpoke. That's clean enough. I'm doing this right. Where's the soap? It's in the pan that you're soaking. You've got that clean, Cecil. Just a little spoon. How many times are you going to wash it? Until it's good and clean. All right, let's see. All right, there you are. It's the spoon finished. Here, dry it. Put it up and don't drop it on the floor. All right. There. Next. Hey, you didn't dry that. That's too quick. Of course I dried it. It doesn't take all day. No wonder you get through in a hurry. You just have to do it. Oh, Cecil, hurry up. Wash the cup now. All right. This cup has a chip out of it. Well, that's all right. We just use it in the kitchen. Somebody will cut their lip on it. Cecil, that's clean. Stop rubbing it so much. It just had water and sugar in it. i got to be careful. I'll cut my hand. Oh, goodness. I wish I'd done that myself. I'll finish. We don't have to catch a train. Well, I get tired of standing here waiting. That's good, Cecil. Now, now wait, that. now wait. It's not clean now. I don't want any kicks on my work. I'm going to get a chair and sit down in a minute. Well, I can't wash this cup fast. I'm liable to cut my hand. Oh, goodness. Oh, dear. Let me have it. When I've got it finished. I guess that's enough soap. I'll bet there are no germs on dishes when I finish with them. No, and no flower designs either. See, so you don't have to scrub that. Now a little water. There. All right. Here's the cup now. Dry it. <laughs> well, it's about time. There. Goodness, haven't you started on the glass yet? I'll bet that cup isn't dry. Let me see it. It's dry, all right. Rinse the glass out now. All right. Here, take it. Here's your precious glass. I bet it hasn't been so clean in years. Now you can clean the pan. That's all. It'll be much easier now. All right, all right. You're so smart, I don't know anything. I'm just a big farmer walking around in a daze. There, now that's dry. See how quick I do things? All right, here, here's a pan. See how quick I do things? See, so that's not clean. Look, see, take it back. Well, stop yapping at me then. Now... How's this? Is this better? Yes, that's fine. <laughs> You're getting better. Yeah, on the last one I speed up. What's the matter? What delayed you? <laughs> well, you can put them on the shelf. Oh, no, sir. I washed them. That's your end of the job. All right. Four things to wash and you holler. Well, that's that. 
Let's see if the fudge is cool. Cecil, wait. Don't take that apron off. You have to wash off the drain and clean the sink. Oh, why do that? It just gets dirty again. Go on, Cecil, now, while I put these up. Oh, all right. I think you're trying to think up things for me to do. Go on, now. Hurry up. All right, all right. You want to see how much work I can do while I'm over here? There, now that's better. <laughs> yeah, that's just fine. <laughs> all right, unhook me out of this funny business. I'm choking. Wait, Cecil, wait. Here's something else that has to be washed. No, there isn't. No, no, sir. Cecil, wait. Wait. Here, watch this. We didn't dirty that. Yes, we did, too. The walnuts were in this preserve jar, and it's empty now, so it ought to be washed. I don't know how to wash a preserve jar. Hurry up, Cecil, and let's get out of the kitchen. Oh, all right, all right. Uh-oh. Hey, I'm sunk. I've got my fist in this preserve jar, and I can't get it out, Sally. Here, now, don't get excited. Let's see. Oh, darn. I didn't want to wash this old preserve jar anyhow. Now I'm stuck. Pull your oh. arm, Cecil. Hold the jar with the other hand. Oh, that's what I'm trying to do, but I can't. My hand is wet. Here, you hold on to the jar, and I'll try to pull my hand up. All right, hold on. All right, now. Don't cut yourself, Cecil. It's kind of sharp. Hold it. Oh, ouch, let go. Hey, don't pull, Sally. You're cutting my wrist. Stop. Oh, Cecil, don't double up your knuckles. That makes your hand bigger. Oh, curses. That's what I get for wearing an apron. I shouldn't have done this. Cecil, try filling the jar with hot water. Yeah, and burn my hand. No thanks. Oh, heck. Cecil, please be careful. I think my hand is going to swell. Let me think. Oh, dear, can't you twist it off, Cecil? No. I could get an axe and chop my wrist off. Oh, that wouldn't help, Cecil. Oh, dear. Oh, now I'll have to go around for the rest of my life with a preserve jar covering my hand. Oh, Cecil, we'll get it off some way. I'll be like the guy in the iron mask. Well, it wouldn't be so bad. You'd keep your hand clean. Yeah, but how would I scratch myself? Sally, it won't cut off, come off. What am I going to do? Well, if you're sure it won't come off, there's only one thing to do. What's that? Here. Here's a hammer. Now we'll have to break the jar. This is the last time I ever wash a preserved jar, believe me. Here, now hold your hand out. I'll have to oh. hit it with this hammer. It's the only way. Well, well, all right, now. Be careful, now. Don't break it too hard. Go on. Harder, Sally. You gotta break it. Oh, dear, this makes me nervous. Hold it out here, Cecil. Don't jerk it in every time I hit. Well, go on, hit it hard. Go on. Go ahead, Sally. Ouch! Oh, oh, my hand! Oh, well, I broke it, Cecil. Oh, I broke it. I know. Now you've broken my wrist. Oh, my hand. Well, you're free, Cecil. Oh. That's something. You want me to kiss it? Oh, <laughs> no. Get away. You've killed me. Let's get out of this old kitchen. No, no, Cecil. Here, you have to pick up this broken glass. You can't go and leave it on the kitchen floor. Get the broom and sweep it up. Now, you bed there. Hi, Sally. What you doing sitting out here on the front porch all by yourself? Plump, said he, sitting himself down on a step. Oh, hey. I said hello. Hello, Cecil. Fine, thank you. Oh, golly, I was just going... Hey, what's the matter, Sally? Are you crying? Oh, no. Don't be silly. Oh, I feel terrible. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. What's the matter? Are you sick? Oh, of course I'm not sick. What would I be sick for? Well, well, whatever is wrong, I'm sorry. Can I, can I do something? Yes. Leave me alone. Well, I just thought I'd come over and say hello. Oh, it's such a mean, old, sad world. Well, I've said hello. Want me to beat it? No. Stay here. Oh, nothing matters. Oh, dear. Hey, what are you crying about? I'm not crying. Well, you're not laughing. I'm just, just, just sort of, sort of, oh, leave me alone. I, I didn't touch you. Gee, you look terrible. You see, well, I've been home all by myself, and everything has been so still and quiet and still. Well, 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 well that's nothing to break into tears about. Well, 
I didn't want to, and when I started, I couldn't stop. You've never been this way, I don't think. Huh, I hope not. Gee, I, I'm sorry, Sally. There's nothing to be sorry about. You see, I was looking in my mirror in my room. What were you looking in your mirror for? To see myself, of course. Well, I, I didn't know. I don't know anything. W won't you stop sniffling? No, I won't. I'll sniffle all I want to. You can go home if you don't like the way I sniffle. There. All right. It's beautiful. A little bit flat, though. Do you want me to tell you the rest? That's what I'm waiting for. Well, I looked at myself in the mirror and... And was so disappointed that you cried. Is that all? No. I wasn't feeling so good anyhow, and I thought to myself, my goodness, but I look sad. Didn't you look at yourself in the mirror ever and think how sad you looked? No. I don't think I ever have. I try to look stern or ferocious sometimes, but I don't think I ever look so sad. I, I hadn't noticed. Well, I was just roaming around the house, and I thought while I was looking in the mirror, my, how sad I look. All right. You thought, how sad you look. Did you let it go at that? Well, I, you see, I thought I, I would, you know, I, I would see how really sad I could look, you know, just to see. Well, you look pretty sad now. You want my handkerchief? Thanks. Well, I stood in front of my mirror and tried to see how sad I could look. You know, I wanted to be sort of sorry for myself. What's the percentage in doing that? Oh, I think you're crazy. Well, if you're going to talk that way, I won't tell you the rest. Uh, I'm sorry. Now, don't, Sally. Gosh, I wish you wouldn't. Don't pat me, Cecil. I'm not a puppy. All right. All right. I won't touch you. Tell me the rest. Well, I looked at myself, and I tried to see how sad I could look, but I didn't do so well. And then I tried to think of all the sad things I could think of, and so... And so... And hey, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't start that again. Oh, I won't. Oh, Cecil, I feel so bad. Well, so do I. Keep this up and we'll both be sitting out here bawling. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? And Uncle Thomas would come home and see us. Hooray, you're laughing. Atta girl, Sally, old kid, old kid. Feel better? No, I feel worse. Don't stop now. What did you think of? Something sad? Oh, Cecil, I, you've no idea what I've been through. It's awful. Please get back on the track again, Sally. What was it? Well, I thought of this. That, that, that... <laughs> I thought, suppose Uncle Thomas should die. I thought, suppose Uncle Thomas should die and leave me all alone. <laughs> oh. Huh. Well, you sure picked out a nice, pleasant little subject. Oh, I thought... I thought... Thought, suppose he should die and leave me all alone <laughs> with nobody in the world. And so I got to crying, and oh, it's terrible. Well, cheer up. Nothing's wrong. It's all right now. My gosh. But that's not the worst. I couldn't stop. <laughs> well, that's, that's as bad as I can think of. You better stop now. Oh, Cecil, you don't know what it means to lose somebody. Oh, Sally, snap out of it. You're all shot to pieces. Cecil, there's some more. All right, give me the whole story. What's the risk? Well, it, it wasn't just Uncle Thomas dying. It was everything else, too. Oh, goodness, it's awful. Suppose you tell me the rest, then. I can stand it. Well, well, after I thought about Uncle Thomas dying and leaving me all alone, all alone, I thought, suppose that, that you should die. <laughs> Holy cow, you even had me die. Well... You're no piker. Please don't make fun, Cecil. It's too serious. I can't feature anyone with no more to do than to sit around and think of different people dying. Cecil, that isn't all. I thought, I thought, suppose that Uncle Thomas should die, and you should die, and everybody should die. Everybody except me. And I thought how lonely I'd be. Oh. <laughs> Nobody left but me. Oh, my gosh. Hey, cut it out, Sally. I feel like a sap. I can't help it. It's so sad. No one but but me. No one to love me all by myself. Well, well, thanks very much for feeling sad about me dying, but huh, but I'm feeling pretty good, thank you. Oh, come on, Sally. Cecil, 
Wouldn't it be terrible, all of you dying? Dad? Well, sure it would, but forget about it. Oh, it's not true. You just thought it up. I know it, but I can't help but feel this way. Oh, dear. Well, what I'd like to know is, after you got all worked up like this, did you look in the mirror to see how you looked? Oh, goodness. Oh, dear, I forgot all about that then. I felt so sad, and I forgot to see how I'd look. Oh, my gosh. After all that trouble, and Bluey. Oh, what a stoop. Cecil, would you feel bad if you got to thinking that I died? Would you? Oh, I don't know. I would never think about it. Why should I? Well, sometime when you want to feel sad, would you? Oh, I don't know. Let's forget that. There's no percentage. Oh, oh I believe you wouldn't. You wouldn't care. You wouldn't care if you were the only person on earth left in the world. Oh. Now, now, Sally, now, now, please, now, wait a minute. I'd feel rotten. Oh, I'd feel punk. Huh. I, I can tell you now. Now, forget, forget, forget it. Now, come on. Let's go for a ride in Ben-Hur. Do you, do, you, do you still feel miserable? All right. Let's go. Goodness, but I've enjoyed this. I haven't had such a good time since our pet canary died and I buried it in the backyard. Oh, it's been such a pleasure. Let's go, Cecil. Here's your handkerchief. <laughs> Cecil, what are you doing up on the chair? Trying to catch a fly. One, two, three, four, <laughs> no, five, really, Cecil, six, seven, eight. No, really, Cecil, what are you trying to do? Seven, eight. Mr. Smith asked me to take inventory. He asked you to take what, Cecil? Inventory. Inventory. Don't you know what that is? No, what is it? Oh, don't tell me you don't know what inventory is. Yes, I am telling you. I don't know. Is it counting up pieces of music? Yes. Now, let's see. Uh, that's uh, eight here. What is inventory, Cecil? What I'm taking. Cecil, I want to help you. Won't you let me? You don't know how to count. I do, too. I never make a mistake, almost always. Yeah, but when you do, you make up for lost time. Well, if you want to let me help you, One, I can stand two, here and talk three, to you, four, can't five. I? I said, five can't I? I? Can't you what? Can't I talk? I should say you can. Now, let's see. That finishes that bunch. Do you want me to sharpen the pencil for you? You keep biting it. I'm hungry. That's five in there. That's okay. Five I wish you'd let me help you do this. Yeah, that's your theme song. I've heard it. Get out of the way. Goodness, but you're busy. <laughs> I hope to cry in your milk, I am. I've got to check this whole shelf. I thought you said you had to take inventory, Cecil. Well, dumb bunny, it's the same thing. Don't call me bad names. I don't like it. Well... Stop talking to me while I'm counting. I don't like it. You said I could talk to you. You said I could just a minute ago. I was standing right here, and you were right there, and I said, Cecil, can I talk to you? And then you said, All me, right, said, all right, all right. Are you running a race? You needn't say you didn't. Move out of the way, Sally, while I put this pile of music on the counter. Why are you going to put it on the counter, Cecil? It's easier to count it than up on the shelf. Now, don't bother me. Don't be silly. One, How could two, I bother three, you? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, Cecil, ten. do you know Another. what made me late One, this morning? Two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, I said, nine, do you know why 10, I was 11, late getting 12, down this 12, morning? 13, 14. I'm not interested. 15, 16, But you 17, should be. 17, you should 18, always be interested 19, in what other 20, people do. 21, 22. There. 22. That's that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. Only 9 of this. We'll have to get some more. One, two, three, four, Cecil, five, Cecil, did six, I tell you why I was seven, late this eight, morning? Nine, did ten, I? Eleven, twelve. Cecil, I'm talking twelve. to One, you. One, two. I know it, and I'm not listening. Cecil, you can't be rude. It's not polite. Sally, don't. What do you mean by pulling on my arm? Can't you see I'm checking this up? Now I've lost count. Leave me alone. Well, I was talking to you, and you didn't answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Cecil, ten. Cecil, you can't 11, imagine who I 11, saw this morning on the corner. 11, Do you let's know? See. One, yes. two, three, four, five. Cecil. Five. What do you want? Do you know who was on the corner this morning? <laughs> a traffic cop. Did I say five or, or four? Six, I think. Oh, I'll count them over. Let me finish them this time. One, two, three, four, Cecil, five, can you count six, in German? seven, eight, nine. Cecil, listen, nine. did you know that Uncle one, Thomas was two, German three, on one four, side? Five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine, See, so, did you know that 12, Uncle Thomas 12. was a German on one side? I don't care if he's German inside and outside. Now, go away. One, two, I three, won't go away. Four, I can five, stay here as six, long as seven, I want eight, to. Nine, ten. And I can one, talk as two, long as I three, want to. Four, five. Now. Oh, five, six. Not seven, only that, eight, I'll talk as loud nine, as I want ten. to. And one, I can talk even louder than that, too. Oh, Sally, hush up, please. How do you expect me to count anything with you hollering? Well, be polite and answer me when I talk to you. I can't do two things at once. I don't see why you can't. I can. Well, I'm not as smart as you are. Well, all you have to do is learn, that's all. No, I could never hope for that much. You've got me all mixed up now. Will you let me get at these again? I don't know where I was. Why didn't you answer what I said to you? I don't know what you said. I said that Uncle Thomas was German on one side. All right. What about it? Well, nothing. He just is, that's all. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good six. enough, you can be unpleasant when you want to. I wish you'd go chase yourself around the block. Oh, that reminds me. One, two, three, You know three, who I saw four, on the corner this morning? Four, just four, a few minutes one, ago. One, two, two. Santa Claus. <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, Cecil, you're so funny sometimes. I did see Santa Claus there at Christmas one, time, two, though. He was three, ringing a bell. Four, he was getting five, money for the orphans. Six, Seven, oh, this was someone one, else that two, you know. Three, four, you don't like him either. Six, and I thought seven, to myself when eight, I saw this person, nine, good enough, nine, is it or isn't it? <laughs> I thought I was seeing things. <laughs> You're going to be seeing things if you don't hush up and get away from me. Why should I get away from you? Have you got chicken pox? No. Goose flesh and a pain in the neck. <laughs> Where did you get a pain in the neck? You just gave it to me. Now, let's see. Now, what was that number? Oh, one, two, three, Cecil, four, five, can't six, you talk to me and six, count at the same time? Six, seven, can't you? No! One, two, Cecil, three, Cecil, I was just three. wondering... Uh, Keep this up and you'll wonder what hit you. I was just wondering. You know, one, Uncle Thomas two, is half three, German. Four, five, <laughs> what does six, that make me? Six, that's a total of 12. There. It makes me what, Cecil? Oh, it makes me sick. Leave me alone. One, two, Cecil, three. Cecil, I'm asking you a three, plain civil four, question. Five, six, if Uncle seven, Thomas is half eight, German on one nine, side, ten, what does that make me? Ten, ten. I would one, be just two, one fourth three, German, wouldn't four, I? Is that four, what they call an octo, octo, something or other? Cecil, what is that? Cecil, what is that? That's fourteen. Ha! Oh, I'm getting there. What's fourteen? When you and I were seventeen. Cecil, what are you talking about? We have 14 copies of when you and I were 17. Who was talking about that? No one was. I was counting it. There now. I don't like you, Cecil. Fine, then don't speak to me. One, two, three, I'll bet four, you wish you knew five, who I talked to six, on my way from the seven, corner this eight, morning. Eight, 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 eight. Now, Sally, I've got a big stack of this junk here. I don't want to have to count it twice, so leave me alone. Now, where was I? Oh, darn. One, two, three, four, Just five, six, seven, eight. Just the same. I bet you wish you knew. I bet you wish you'd let one, me help two, you. One, two, three, four. Here, take these and count them and stop talking. <laughs> oh, Cecil, at last you're going to let me help you. <laughs> oh, I like this. <laughs> what do I do with this bunch of music, Cecil? All right, count them. And remember how many there are. Now, I'll count these. All right. All right, now. One, two, one, three, four, five, six, two, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Four. S Sally, count to yourself. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Don't talk seven. to me, Cecil, while I'm counting. What'd you say? I, I, I'll count under your breath. Well, you count out loud. Why can't I? I can't think. Well, I'll count out loud, and you count to yourself. Oh, well, all right, then. Hurry, though. There's just a half hour left to finish this. Oh, well, now I have to start at the beginning again. One, two, three, four, 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 four. <laughs> I have to stop and lick my finger. <laughs> four, five, six, seven, seven, seven. Goodness, I wish I had a sponge. <laughs> seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, ten. <laughs> All good, eleven. All good children go to heaven. <laughs> oh, dear, did you hear what I said, Cecil? Oh, Sally, what can I do with you asking me questions? Answer them. Oh, here, give me those. Now, here, we can't both count. 
You help me by remembering what I say. All right. One, two. Button my shoe. Three, four. Shut the door. Oh, for cat's sake, I quit. I'll count these when you go to lunch. I'm darned if I'll stay here and get all mixed up while you're yelling at me. Oh, what a system. Oh, Cecil, I'm so glad you came over. I want you to help me. Uh-oh. I had a feeling I should have stayed at home tonight. I want you to help me settle something. What are you trying to find out? I'm trying to find out how old Mary is. Mary who? I don't know. It doesn't make any difference. Why bother then? It's a problem. Why don't you ask her? Oh, Cecil, don't you understand? It's a problem. It was in the paper tonight, and I'm trying to work it out. What is it? I can show you. I'm smart in arithmetic. Well, here it is. Mary is twice as old as John. Henry is four times as old as John. If John were ten years older, the combined ages of John and Mary would be equal to that of Henry. How old is Mary? Uh, let's go to a show, Sally. There's a pitch of a show tonight. No, Cecil. You work this out for me, and then we'll go. Oh, oh, that? Oh, that's easy. We can do that any time. I can't do it. I've tried for two hours. If Uncle Thomas were home, he could do it. Oh, I could do it in two minutes. Come on, let's go to a show or go for a drive or something. No, I want to find out the answer first. I can't sleep tonight until I find out. You work it and show me. Oh, tomorrow night. Let's go out someplace. Oh, come on. Well, work this for me first, and then we'll go. Oh, uh, no, it would take too long, Sally. Tomorrow. See, so two minutes isn't long. You said you could do it in two minutes. Who, who did? Who, when did I say that? Well, just a minute ago. You did. You said it wouldn't take you two minutes. Oh, did I? Well, 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 it wouldn't. But I just don't feel like figuring tonight. I'll bet you can't do it. That's why. I can't do it? Oh, why, I can, too. That's child's play. A baby could do that. Well, if I can't, I know a baby can't. Let's see you get the answer. Oh, well, all right. Here, give me the pencil. <laughs> I just know that you can work at Cecil. You're so smart. No, I'm not, or I would have dodged this. But, Cecil, it'll be easy for you. I know it, but I don't like to disturb my brain. I nearly had it a minute ago, but I got mixed up. You would. Well, what's the problem? I'll do it. Well, you're supposed to find out how old Mary is. Oh, it's silly. As if anyone cared. It says that Mary is twice as old as John. Now, wait. She's twice as old as John. Yes, that's what it says. Well, how old is John? It doesn't tell you. What's the idea? Well, wait now, that isn't all. All right, go on. <laughs> all right. Mary is twice as old as John. Yeah, she'll be a lot older in a minute. And Henry is four times as old as John. He's old enough to be the father. Go on. Well, if John were ten years older... Yeah, he could lick the tar out of Henry. <laughs> Oh, Cecil, now you stop being funny. I want to know how to work this. Well, I'll tell you. I'm the fellow that can. What's the rest? Well, if John were ten years older, the combined ages of John and Mary would be equal to that of Henry. Now, how old is Mary? Well, what's the rest? That's all there is. What's the answer? Well, now let's see. Well, now, well, in the first place, how old is Mary? <laughs> yes. That's what we want to find out. Oh, yes, that's right. That's what we want to find out. Well, now, now I'm going to do this kind of slow so you'll get it all. See, huh? Yes. <laughs> oh, I knew you could work at Cecil. Thanks. Well, uh, well, now, how old is Mary? First, first, how old is Henry? Well, it doesn't say. Well, that makes it harder. Well, how old is John? Well, it doesn't tell you that either. Well, that makes it harder yet. Oh, Cecil, I've tried and tried. I can't do it. Well, it's very simple. You have to take an X. See, I'll put out an X. That stands for Mary's age. <laughs> That's simple. Oh, is that the way you work it? Now, I, I get out of the light, Sally. I can't see what I'm doing. Now. What now, Cecil? Well, you, uh, you do it like this. You see, I, I put out an X. X. X, see? <laughs> I, I write a nice X, don't I? Now, uh, hmm. Uh... Well, it's two minutes, Cecil. Well, what of it? You said that it would only take you two minutes. Well, you keep bothering me. What do you expect? 
I'll do it in just a second. Why, why it's easy. That, that's the trouble. It's so easy, it's kind of hard. I, sir, would like to know how old Mary is. I'll wonder all night if I don't find out. I wish Uncle Thomas were home. So, so do I. Now, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Mary is twice as old as John. I've got that much figured out. Two times as old. You knew that to begin with, Cecil. Do you want to do this, or did you ask me to, huh? I'm sorry. I was just trying to help. Well, well, well you're getting me all mixed up. Now, I, I just about had the answer. Write it down when you get it, Cecil, so I'll know, will you? All right. Oh, well, don't look over my shoulder, Sally. I never can do anything with someone perched on my shoulder. <laughs> oh, Cecil, I wasn't perched on your shoulder. <laughs> now, let's see. How old is Mary? She's twice as old as John. She's too old for him, which doesn't make a lot of difference. How old is Mary? Yes, that's Mary. what we want to find out, Cecil. Don't you know yet? Oh, why, of course I know. I'm just trying to prove it in my mind. I want to be sure. Oh, you've got the answer already? Goodness, Cecil, but you're smart. Oh, why, I knew the answer as soon as you told me the problem. Well, how old is Mary then, Cecil? Tell me. <laughs> now, 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 don't rush me. I have to prove it. Now, let's see. Mary is twice as old as John. John has to be ten years older. If he's ten years older, he isn't half as old as Mary. How old is Mary? Can I uh, help you, Cecil? Yes, keep still. I'm concentrating. Oh, I wish I was smart like you are, Cecil. You can't do anything without concentrating. Nothing. How old is Mary? I'll bet you even know how old Henry is now. If, if, if a person doesn't concentrate, then they, they can't do anything. It, it's a trick. If you know how old Mary is, then you know how old they all are. And, and if you don't concentrate, you can't do a thing. You won't click. Cecil, how old is Mary? Is it all figured out? Did you know that you can concentrate on something, and if you concentrate hard enough... You can make people understand. That's mine reading. That's all. Yes, Cecil. That's what Uncle Thomas says. But tell me, how old is Mary? Oh, oh that's right. You want to know how old Mary is. Well, that's it, isn't it? <laughs> yes, that's it. Goodness, you didn't take any paper at all to figure it out, did you? I do everything in my brain. I don't need paper and pencil. I can't even add unless I have a pencil. What would you do if you were on a desert island where you didn't have one? I wouldn't need one on a desert island, would I? <laughs> no, well, no, that's right, you wouldn't, I guess. Now, uh, where was I? You were going to tell me how old Mary is. Oh, yes. How old is Mary? Well, she's twice as old as John. Now, let's see. Yeah. Now, um, <laughs> uh, hey, listen. Is there an answer there to tell you if you're right or not? Oh, no. If there was, I wouldn't have bothered. Oh, well, then. Well, then, Mary is, uh, is, uh, why, she's, she's 50 years old. Oh, she's ancient. Now, now, come on. Oh, but, Cecil... Now, I... that's the answer. Now, 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 let's don't argue. Come on, let's go to the show and forget all about this business. Come on, we'll put this aside. Let's go out and see the movie.